Hey, what's up, fellas? I'm Ryan, a certified strength and conditioning specialist from theworkoutcorner.com, and you know what today is, and I'm going to tell you anyways, it is a great day for working out and answering some of your questions, which is exactly what I do here every Monday. I pick the top three questions from the comment box below. Winner of best question gets free access to my 80-20 course where I teach you the core principles you need to know for getting real lasting results. So with that being said, let's jump into our first question. Jack Williams says, hey Ryan, what different grips could I use when bench pressing? Do different grips help build different parts of the chest? Great question, yes. Different grips are going to affect the muscles, the primary muscles work. You know, the closer you move in your grip on the bench press, the more the weight shifts to triceps. That's why you'll see, you know, for close grip bench press is a good tricep workout. When you go further out, it does hit more kind of of the outer pecs, but it also puts a lot of stress on the shoulders. So you got to be careful when you're doing something like that. I will just throw out there too that this is one of those smaller details, you know, one of those smaller dials when it comes to tweaking your body. And really, just focusing on regular bench press without worrying about all these exotic grips is more than enough for you to get good results and build a big chest. Like I never do, you know, wide grips or anything crazy exotic. I will do some close grip bench press for triceps, but I don't want you to be wasting effort putting it in areas where it may not be helpful. You know, you may it may be more beneficial for you to focusing on using a workout log, making sure your weight is going up in incremental steps, making sure you're getting to the gym, you know, the more important factors, all right? Hope that helps. MC Calor says, Hey Ryan, my question is how can I really build my upper chest? I've been working out for roughly six months and my lower chest is getting bigger and defined, but my upper chest is lagging. How can this be fixed? Love the channel. Thanks in advance. All right, so want to build the upper chest. Main thing to focus on or exercise you can do is incline bench press is a great one. You can also do incline dumbbell press, you know, depending on your shoulders, whichever one's easier for you. And then finally, incline flies. So basically the incline bench is what you're going to be spending some time on if you're looking to add some mass on the upper chest. All right, hope that helps. Mr. Jeremiah Real says, Hey Ryan, I am recovering from an open heart surgery and just got cleared to work out. I want to be lean and muscular. I'm currently this. Let's see, I can lift and build muscle, but my question is because I can't do cardio for long periods due to my heart, is there a way to get a great cardio session in shorter time, like 15 to 20 minutes? I kind of feel trapped and your help would mean a lot. Either way, your videos are so motivating and I'm already thankful to you. Wow. Well, hey, first of all, I'm glad you're okay, and I hope everything went well with the surgery. I'm assuming it did since you've been cleared to work out, and that is the most important thing. You know, you just had a, a big surgery, so always be checking with your doctor and obviously take his advice over mine or anybody else that you find on the Internet. You know, that being said, you can certainly get in some good cardio sessions in 15 to 20 minutes if your goal is to help your heart or to burn fat. You know, one thing you may consider is jump rope. Uh, jump rope is a great cardio exercise, and it's but it can be intense. So again, you're gonna have to talk to your physician as far as the the level of intensity because you're only working out for 15 minutes. But if you're doing something like high intensity interval training, that is putting a lot more stress on your cardiovascular system, which is you know run the engine of that is your heart. So this is something that you will, you will want to follow up with closely with your doctor and maybe your physical therapist if you're seeing one to really make sure that you're clear for that. But I, I want people to know that when it comes to working out, a lot of times we can feel trapped and we're stuck that we're, there's only this little, you know, these little things that we can do and, and we can't do what everyone else is saying. And it very often, it's not true. The biggest, the biggest restraint is very often ourselves and, and what we limit ourselves to what we're seeing. So it helps for you to watch videos like this and others on YouTube to help open your mind to new ideas and new approaches that you can try and because you're like, oh hey, I wasn't thinking of that before. So jump rope would be a great one. If you can do high intensity interval training, that would be another one. And you know, you can do some rowing, that would be great if you have a rowing machine. So there's a whole host of exercises, so don't feel that you're trapped. Keep with it, and good luck, thanks. All right, fellas, that'll do it for another episode of Mind Food Monday. Go ahead and put your questions for next week in the comment box below, and I'll get to those. Mr. Jeremiah, you, my, my friend, are the winner this week for the 80-20 course. Go ahead and put a comment in the comment box below so I know you saw this video. I'll get you hooked up with that. Everybody else, have a good week. Lift hard. I'll see you next Monday.